Hi, everybody. This is Michelle from Milton Public Library. And this is take two, because we tried to record once and we didn't get it. So now we're trying again. Uh, today, in honor of all baseball teams everywhere, we are going to be making baseball skin keychains using the skins of baseballs to make these. So, and what better time to do it than in the midst of the World Series where the Dodgers and the Rays are battling out for the title for 2020. So anyway, there are a couple of things I wanna to talk to you about before we get started. I am being joined today by a couple of young men who will introduce themselves in a little bit and you guys will continue to maybe become familiar with them because you'll see them around on some of our recordings. Um, anyway, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is that our take and make kit kits that have been put out back for all of summer and into the fall will now be moving inside the back door. So when you come to the back of the library, there is one door that is open. There's a sign there that says curb, curbside pickup available inside. Just step inside the door and there are, the box with all of our kits will be in there so you can still pick them up. We're moving them in because, you know, otherwise you might come and find a foot of snow on top of them sometime soon. I'm hoping not, but it could happen. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is book discussion. It's not too late to sign up. We have our second segment being discussed on Saturday at 11 o'clock. Mark and Victor join me and um, we have, we had a great discussion uh, two weeks ago, and I'm sure it'll be great this week as well. So join us, call us, reserve a book. We'll put it out on curbside. You can come pick it up, and then you can join us for our discussion. If you choose not to do this in segments and just want to join us for the very last week, which is November 14th, that works too. So come pick up the book. You've got time to do it, um, and I think you'll enjoy it. So now, before we get started, I'm going to have Mark and Victor and um, introduce themselves so that you will know who it is who is joining us today. So Victor, why don't you go first? Yeah, um, I'm Victor. Um, Mark and I are both uh, medical students here at the medical university, but we're volunteering at the library, trying to help out where we can, be part of things, just, you know, be part of the community while we're here. Um, yeah, I am, I'm from New York originally, so I might be cheating and putting a Yankees on mine today, just letting everyone know that yes. I, yeah, I grew up going to every Yankees game ever, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we like, my grandma still lives in the Bronx, it's a big thing, um, but I'm excited to be here, I'm excited to work with you guys, um, yeah, that's me. Cool, thanks, thanks Victor, how about Mark? Hey, so as you heard, um, I'm also a med student at UVM with Victor. Um, my name is Mark. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. But um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here and get this keychain going. <laughs> okay, awesome. So I'm probably going to have to stand up for a lot of this so that you can see me better in the camera. But to get started, what I'm going to do is show you what you will get in your bag if you pick up a take and make kit. First of all, you're gonna you're gonna get one of these. It's a it's just a strip of leather off from a baseball. I have stripped them for you, so you don't have to do it because that's not easy. You're gonna get a keychain or key ring, and you'll get a needle, and you will get some embroidery floss. And this is what we'll use to stitch this all together. So the first thing I'm going to have you do, and this is probably going to be the most challenging part of all of this, is I'm going to have you thread your needles. And you'll just leave your whole length of embroidery floss for now. And this is a trick that I learned um, a long time ago. And what you do is you make a loop with your embroidery floss and you put it down over the top of your needle. So, and holding it really tight between your finger and your thumb, you pull it up over the top of the needle, and then you push all of the floss into the opening of the needle's eye, and it should come right through. Now, Mark and Victor, I hate to tell you, but yours might be a little bit more difficult. So another thing that you can do to make this easier 
is if you have a little piece of scotch tape, I'll show you how to do that as well. I have a piece right here. If you have a little piece of scotch tape, take your ends and you can wrap them up with the scotch tape. You don't need much of it, but enough so that you can flatten the threads together. And then you can take your needle and it should actually push through much easier, okay? And then what you would do is cut off that piece of tape or if you can remove it, that's fine too. So how are you guys doing? Are you mastering this? The other thing you can do, and I just saw Victor do it, which I've been, I was taught to do as a kid too, is just lick the ends of it so that they all stay together and use your fingers to kind of make sure that they clump together. This really is the hardest part of this project. So can you guys do it? How are you doing? We'll see. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know how big the eye of the needle was on yours, guys. I'm sorry. I should have probably sent you bigger ones. Um, oh, good. I got it. I got it. You got it? Oh, okay. right. The licking got technique it. came in strong. <laughs> the licking technique worked well. Okay. And that that's fine. I just didn't want to do that with my own camera. So anyway, how you doing, Mark? Um, I'm not there yet, but okay. I have no doubt. I have no doubt that I'll get there. Okay. Yeah. You're, are you going to be a surgeon? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe not with this. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So uh, if you use the tape technique, you've got to make sure that you remove that tape. Otherwise, your um, floss will not go through the baseball uh, leather. So anyway, after you have your thread, your needle threaded, you've got a whole lot of floss you want to fold it in half so that you're going to double your threads. And I won't go too far, Mark, so don't panic. Okay. I'm just going to show. So unravel everything and then yep. get the needle halfway in the yarn? Yes, you got it. Got so it. that your ends should line up. Okay. Alrighty. So both my ends now have come together. You can see that. And I'm going to... I'm going to tie a knot in there. I'm just going to tie a knot once and then tie a knot twice because you want a big enough knot that won't slip through the holes in the baseball leather. So how are we doing, Mark? Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like putting you on the spot. <laughs> Did you... Um, you don't have any tape, you said. Did you try um, wetting it? Um, oh, I'm almost there. <laughs> I think I'm about to get it. Okay. And fingernails help, unfortunately. Mine are pretty short right now, but. Oh, yeah, I just trimmed my nails. Yeah, <laughs> of there, course. There's nothing there. I can hear you. Now, a question just like, just about knitting or sewing in general. Are you always supposed to do this like double, double loop and then like tie it at the end? Cause I just never understood really what I'm supposed to be doing with the, like I understand how to knit and like I fix buttons on shirts, but I've never, I never understood if I'm doing it the correct way. Is this the <laughs> correct way? Here's, here's my take on that, okay? If my button stays on after I sew on a button, whether I use both threads, you know, a double thread, you got it, yay, yeah. Mark. Okay, so half use, you gotta use half your um, floss, bring it so that, you know, it, your, your floss is hold it in half and knot the end of it together. So you're gonna have two strands knotted together at the end, and it's going to be really long, okay? Good job, Victor, I think you got it. So just, and knot it a couple of times so that the knot is big enough so it won't slip through the holes. This is precious, guys. Um, so an answer to your question, Mark. Some, or Victor, I'm sorry. Sometimes um, people do use double threads and certainly if I was sewing on a coat button, I would because you're gonna want that strength. On a shirt, I probably would use a single thread um, 
sometimes with this, I think it would be good to have the extra um, stability of all the strands because there are actually six strands of thread in a thing of embroidery floss. So you're getting, you're getting really uh, 12 strands as you double the thread to put through this. So is there a right way and a wrong way? Like I said, as long as my button stays on, I don't care how, <laughs> how I do it. <laughs> so anyway, how you doing, Mark? Okay, so I have it that it's like pretty much centered between yep. the two halves and then just yep. tie a knot at the end. Tie a knot at the end, yep. Make sure you do a couple of, a couple of knots, okay? okay. This is so nice. After like studying the whole day and like freaking out and being anxious, this is just like nice to sit down and like just a little bit of sewing, a little little activity. <laughs> and, I th and I'm glad that you're encouraged by the fact that you're going to be doing some sewing because honestly, it's something that everybody should know how to do at least a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, sewing on a button, you got to know how to do that, especially if you're off on your own. If you have a button pop up, you've got to know how to do it, right? So... Consider this training for your, you know, training for your future if you don't already know how to do it. So, how's it going, Mark? Um, that's good. Just getting, um, when you're doing the rest of the knots, are you using, like, the kind of extra fabric? Or, the uh, extra, or should no, I just... Actually, if you put them together, Mark, and yeah. tie them, like, you know, you were starting to tie your shoe or whatever... Okay. Like, you're good. Now do another knot with that. And yes, leave the extra tail on, and I'm going to show you how we're going to hide that. So okay. just like that. You got it. That's Snap easy. it over your finger. Yeah. If it's super long, you can cut some of it, but um, sure. I think it'll be all right. Okay. okay. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We can go okay. Next. Okay. So next step, take your baseball skin. And we're going to fold it in half at the, the wider part, one, one end of it. And we're going to put our key chain, our key ring through it. Okay, so that it's going to look like this. All right, and you got to kind of work it, work the leather a little bit so that it rounds up around the key ring rather than folds under. Can you see that? Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So, I got it like that. Yep. Yeah. And then you're going to line up the holes in your keychain as best you can, or uh, the leather part. Make sure you line them up as best you can. They may not line up exactly perfectly at the beginning, but as you continue to sew, I believe that they will line up better. And there's a little stickiness on the inside of these, which I'm assuming when they were made, that's how, you know, they um, attach them to the ball. Have you ever taken, have you ever taken a baseball apart? Because it's really cool. <laughs> I, I should have brought one of them over here so that you could see what it looks like. Because it's just a whole bunch of string. In the very center, there's a hard, dark ball. But um, around the outside, there's a whole bunch of really fine strings that are um, wrapped together. And then they um, glue the they glue this on, and then it gets sewn on. And I would love to see how they do that because, of course, there's a hard ball in the center. So, okay, now, so does everybody's keychain look like this so far? Perfect. Okay, so starting on this side, the right side, as I'm looking at it, the right side of the keychain, I'm going to go in between the skin and I'm going to come out in the top hole on the left side and that can be a little tricky to find where that hole is but you can open up your keychain a little bit to find it so only go like halfway like the, only the first one not not both of them you're gonna go you're gonna go into the the one that you can get your your needle in the easiest because the ring is there. Do you see? Do you see where I've got mine? Yeah. So I've gone in on the left side. I'm coming out in the one that's as close to the top on the left side as I can get it. Okay. okay. 
And do not go through the ring or go through the ring? I did not go through the ring, no, because you want the ring to be able to turn, you know, after Uh, you get it done. So do not go through the ring. Okay, okay. Okay. So then after you get that in there, you're going to pull your strings all the way through to the knot where it'll stop on its own. And the tail that you have left over from your knots should be hidden now in between the two skins. You think I'll pull all the way through? Yep, pull all the way through. Once you get it through your top, your top, um, the top hole. Okay. Pull it all the way through till your knot actually comes up against that um, baseball leather. Yep. So I'm I'm getting confused here a little bit. So go into the top right hole halfway, only through the first side, and then come out the second side of the top left hole. No, um, no, you don't go into the hole okay. on the right. You go in between the skins on yeah. the right hand side and come out in the top hole on the left hand side. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. we're staying only on one side of the skin. Right. Ah, okay, right. okay. Okay, that way we'll start our sewing right off as soon as you can get yours in there, so. Okay, you got it, Mark? Uh, I think so. Okay, so. After you do that, then you can start sewing. And the reason why I had you start on that side is because if you look at the baseball um, skin, you're gonna see where there were little marks where it was initially sewn when it was put together and you want your stitching to line up with that. So we're going to, after you've got that done, are you set, Victor? Yeah, I'm just pulling it through. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go through the back side of that, of our baseball skin. Okay, so this is my front side. I'm going around over the top through the back side. And then in a kind of a diagonal stitch, I'm going to go into that back hole that's right across from the, where your your um, floss is coming out. I'm going into that one and in a diagonal stitch, picking up the hole down next to it. So the next hole down. That makes sense? Right. Um, so if this is my front and this yep. is where it came out, okay. Where, so where am I going next? You're going around to the back. Okay, here's the back. Okay. And you're going, okay, so watch. I'm going to show you. I'm going around to the back and I'm going into that hole that's in line with the one that I just brought my string through. Yeah, and okay. don't go through the don't go through the ring. Yeah, just don't don't sew into okay. the ring. Okay. And then you should come out in the front so that mm-hmm. you're down in the next hole. Oh, okay. Okay. So it so. kind of is a diagonal stitch at this point. Then you pull your string all the way through, and with all this extra, it's actually going to. Tangle some, but just take your time, pull it through, get your tangles out. And then you're gonna pull it nice and tight. And as you do, it should give you a stitch that looks like this. And it will line up with the um, existing dent that's there already. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if I did this right. (laughs) (laughs) That's all right. Let's see, what have you got? Oh, well. Something is just getting caught on the ring, okay. Uh, Okay, got that. And it does, you have to, because you're working with so much floss, it will get caught. You got it, Victor? I think okay. so. I have okay, so I think what you did. on the front side, I have this with this extra. And then I have this nice right there. Okay. I think that was it. And pull it nice and tight. Okay. All righty. All right. You got it. I think you've got it, Mark. I can't really see very well. But anyway, so. okay. So you just keep going around your baseball just or your, um, your keychain the same way. So you're going to go in the back and you're going to come out in the front, again, with a more of a diagonal slant to your needle. 
and you're just going to keep pulling. As you go along, it'll get easier because the um, the holes will line up better. The only thing you want to make sure that you do is pull your um, floss tight so that it continues to line up with the existing marks from the from the baseball itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait, I think I. <laughs> You I missed. I missed like a little hole, like at the top. Yeah, is that okay? Or yes, should I that's fine. You don't want to. You don't want to sew that one in because you need to have a little bit of give so that um, your key ring will will move a little bit as you put your keys on. It's got to be able to flex a little bit. Okay. So, okay. actually, if you can see mine, I'm. I have. One hole here I didn't use, one hole in the center of the ring, and then one hole on the back that I didn't use. So I've got three hole un, un, holes unused in there. Okay? Uh, it does start to get a lot easier once you get going, though. Yes. You just have to, yeah, it's the beginning. The beginning part. And, and it doesn't take very long to stitch this once you get, once you get the hang of it, so. How you doing, Mark? You got it figured out? I think so. You think so? Yeah. Ooh, I got one knot here. I don't know that I do. Come on. I feel like it's good practice too, before you pull it tight, so make sure it falls in that divot. Yes, yep, good point. Very good point. Oh my goodness, I really do have a knot here. Let's get this taken care of. There we go. And that is a hazard, it will happen. So, and I've made a few of these, so. So again, going into the back of the ball, um, the ball leather and then up through the front. And then pulling it tight. So once you get going, just keep on moving. You go all the way around the outside edge. All right. You doing okay, Mark? Yeah, it, it got easier. <laughs> it got easier? Okay, good. All right, so how's how are things going at school, guys? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. 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 We're just ready for ready for breaks. Yeah. Really. yeah. So I'm just gonna try to keep my stitching. I, I'm gonna. We can keep talking, but I wanna try to keep it so that I am showing some of what I'm doing here. Okay. Um. So in the back out through the front at a diagonal. I think as you go around the curve of the ball, um, you will find that the holes are even better lined up. So you won't even probably be doing as much diagonal stitching. Yeah, it just goes straight through. Yeah, so anyway. So Victor, we've heard that you're a Yankees fan. However, are you cheering for anybody in the series or are you just ignoring it altogether? I feel like during COVID, it was hard to kind of get into just because the games are so short. Yeah. And I know like we are very much a team that struggles in the beginning mm -hmm. of the year. And then mm -hmm. we kind of like hone it in towards the end. And then we got so many injuries. I don't know. I know we did not play up to our par. Mm -hmm. And, but yeah, I'm actually really big into football and basketball more so mm -hmm. than baseball. Oh, really? I don't know how, yeah. I don't even know how that happened, but. <laughs> my dad my dad doesn't watch anything my dad just like he loves baseball he uh -huh. grew up with it but like other than that he has no idea how like sports even work really so funny. yeah <laughs> well i really enjoy going to live baseball games and i you know have been to a few lake monsters games as you can see i got mm -hmm. my lake monster shirt on and um i enjoy See, being there, I think that they're actually a lot more fun to 
to go to than they are to watch on TV. But I have been kind of following the series a little bit. And I honestly, well, you know, the Rays beat the Yankees out. So I thought it would be good for the Rays to go ahead and win the whole thing. But yeah. we shall see because they're down a game right now. But not anyway. out. What? Go ahead. But not out. Down, but not out. They're down, but not out. You're right. They're just out of the series for now. You got it. <laughs> Are you a baseball fan at all, Mark? Honestly, not so much. I was more into basket, like watching basketball, because my dad um, was into basketball, and my family was like somehow never into baseball. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it was fun to follow, like at times, because I was from Cleveland. There's one year the Indians did really well. You know, lost. Mm-hmm. I think it was three one. They were up three one in the World Series, and then lost. Not oh fun. dear. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that hurts. So, you know, it, that was the same year that I think the Cavs won the NBA championship, though, so it was okay. Okay. Or maybe it was, it was yeah, no, it was a close year. It was, it was the same year. I remember yeah. because Dwayne Wade and LeBron James had a Chicago, Cleveland, because I think it was the Cubs versus the uh, maybe yeah, Cleveland Indians. Yeah. 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 Well. Well, I don't follow it that closely. My son is the baseball aficionado in my household, but he absolutely loves every sport. So he's, I don't think he's following this series though. I think he's got a little better taste because the Yankees were out, but he, he might be, he might be watching. I, well, he did know who had won last night. So I think he's keeping some kind of tab on it. But anyway. Whoever wins, they play hard, even though it was a shortened season. You know, they deserve it. Yeah. So, anyway, um, so I'm continuing to sew by putting my needle in through the back and coming out through the front because mine is going to have a Rawlings insignia on the front. Um, and it kind of naturally bent that way. So, that works. <laughs> And we're just going to continue to sew on up through. What is the closest team to Vermont? Is it one of the New York teams, I guess, or? Um, I would think. Does Buffalo have a baseball team? I don't know. I don't think so. We've got, there's the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. So, right? I mean. Yeah. I'm no. guessing because I am not a, a, a sports person, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and I think it's kind of divided. There are a lot of people in Vermont who really like the Boston Red Sox, oh. but yeah, my dad, <laughs> my dad was a definite um, Yankees fan and my son-in-law is a big Red Sox fan. So, mm-hmm. and my sons both are Yankee fans. So when we all get together, um, there's always a little discussion about the Red Sox and the Yankees. And, uh, but what's funny is my daughter and my son-in-law have two boys and one's a Red Sox fan and one's a Yankees fan. <laughs> so oh no. There's a, but his, you know, but Deanna, my daughter is also um, a Yankees fan. So it makes that house, evenly divided at least yeah that's fair so, that's not a bad thing but they do have their they do get on each other it's quite funny it's all in good fun so anyway but all right i'm coming up quite close to the end of mine how are you guys doing i'm um, like um, a little less yeah. than half. <laughs> less than steady half. <laughs> okay. Here. Oh, you're doing well, Mark. Keep on going. Good job. Long steady. Yeah. I haven't really run into any. I only had one knot to get rid of. So it's one knot. Cool. Yeah. Well, you're lucky because mine kept knotting on me. And it will, but it's not difficult to get them out. You just have to take your time. So. Anyway, I am at the top of mine, and officially, I could be done. 
So this is what mine looks like so far. And I am going to show you all how to knot it um, so that, and to hide the, hide, the, um, hide the tail so that it will go on the underside um, again. So anyway, I will give you guys a couple seconds to see where you're at. I'm not sure we'll be able to wait, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, got, you can go ahead. <laughs> But you're doing well. Victor, you didn't show us yours. Mark did. Oh, I am. I am oh, less you're, than half. <laughs> you're doing okay, though. You just keep on going. You're doing great. So anyway. Um, yeah. So as far as, let's see, they have a game. They have a game tomorrow night and Wednesday night. So if, let's see, that's five. Right now it's three. So if the Dodgers don't win tomorrow night, then they will proceed to the game on Wednesday night and that'll be the deciding game, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was afraid, was it last night? Saturday night, I was afraid they were gonna go into extra innings. Over there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but they didn't. What did you say, Mark? I said it, the series could have already been. It could have been over. Yeah, it could have been yeah. over. It's good when we're recording this, it's still going. It's still going, so it's a good thing. And actually, this will go out today. So um, hopefully, anyway. Yeah. So now, as you can see, this is, this is mine. And the rings, actually, if you, they kind of stick when you first put them in because of the, the adhesive that was used in the balls. But the rings do turn so that when you add your keys to it, you'll be able to get those on there. So it may take a little muscle power to get it started. So, okay, how are we doing? Not, you should probably, <laughs> you can You're do doing it. great, keep on trucking, you're, go, you're doing great. Yeah. Um, you can do it and we can get the instructions out. Okay, you wanna do it that way? Are you good with that too, Victor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna watch or are you gonna keep sewing? I'll watch, I'll watch. You'll watch and then you can um, do them, you know, after yourself. Yeah. Watch it yourself and do and get the instructions. Okay, so right now I'm at the back of my um, of my keychain. And this is where my last um, where it has come out the last time. So I'm going to go back in through this hole. Actually, you know what, I'm going to, nice. No, nope, I'm gonna do it on this one because if I go too much closer, then my, um, my key ring will not move quite so readily. So I'm going to go into that back hole. I'm coming out into the next one up, all right? Can you see that? I'm going to come through and I probably, I'm not gonna come all the way through because this is where we have to make our knot. And of course it's going to all knot up on me. So I'm putting my finger in here to keep it from knotting too much more. So I'm gonna have a loop. Can you see that loop? I've gone from back through to front and there's a loop that occurs because if I was just gonna pull it straight through, it would continue to you know, continue the stitching like you have been doing. But in this case, I wanna make a knot. So I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going through my knot or through that loop rather, and I'm going to pull it tight. So there's one, okay? And I'm going to do it again because I want it to be good and secure. So I'm going to go through that back hole again, come through the front, I'm going to put my finger in here so I don't pull it all the way through before I get it knotted again. So there's my loop. I'm taking my needle. I'm going up through the center of that loop and pulling it tight. And then, so it looks like this. And then for my last, and it, you can see, you might be able to see the knot a little bit right there. Then I'm for my last, my last trick, I'm going to take my thread and uh, my needle and I'm going to put it in between the two baseball skins again. 
and I'm going to come through to the other side. So it's going to look like this. Okay, I've got it going in one side, it's coming out the other side. And I'm going to pull my needle through. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip that close. So I'm going to, yeah, mm -hmm. I can hold it right. I'm going to snip it really close to the edge. And my, the most of my tail of my knot should be hidden between the two skins. And as you can see, I've got a little bit that's hanging off right here, but my knot is a long ways on the other side. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit closer, just being careful not to snip the threads of what you've sewn. So that's what your baseball key chain should look like in the end. I've got the Rawlings insignia on that side, and I think it's major league baseball on that side. So. What do you think? You think you can finish it? Yeah. yeah. Of course That's you can. Really nice. uh, little question. Yep. If I originally had kind of a long tail just because I tied the first knot yes. high, mm -hmm. can I just kind of cut that like so that most of that is gone because the actual knot is on the inside here? Yes. That's okay. exactly what I would do. I would cut that now before you get any closer so that it doesn't get mixed into yeah. um, mixed in with your sewing and create a knot that you then really have a mess with. <laughs> so yeah, I would cut that and um, again, your knot is on the inside, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. You can even open that up a little bit and cut it inside the, um, inside the baseball skin if you want to. Yep. Not too, too short, but anyway, that makes sense? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And how you doing, Victor? I am just past halfway. <laughs> Making progress. <laughs> That's all right. Take your time, you know? It looks um, nice, though. Yeah, looks great. So you're, you have a tail on your, um, that yeah. you can cut off right there, too. OK? So that that gets hidden in there. And did you understand my knot process? Did you get? I did. OK. I did. Mark, did you understand that? I think so. Did you okay. do two knots before I you did. slipped it through? Okay. Yes, I did two, so that it'll be good and tight, and it should it should stay because you're um, and it you know doesn't really show too much, so that's mm -hmm. a good thing. But anyway, and thank you guys for joining us today. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, and I don't have keys on mine yet, but you can bet I will because I think they're really cool. But they also, the other thing is that they could really make cool Christmas gifts. If you yourself are not a baseball fan, but you know somebody who is, it could really make a very cool Christmas gift um, for a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a father, an uncle, a grandfather. So just... Get creative and see what you can do. Um, and good luck with these. So I think if you guys are all set, we're going to leave you finishing up your baseball keychains. But can we ask you to do us a favor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you send us a picture of your finished products? Oh, yes. Will do. <laughs> all right. And we'll put them out on our... Uh, We'll share them on Facebook so that everybody else can see that you guys could do it. So, <laughs> and so can those of you who yep. are watching and listening. So anyway, all right. So I will see you guys on Saturday. Yep. And hopefully anybody else who's watching this video will think about joining us for book discussion because it's been a lot of fun. So agreed? You guys yes. agree? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop the recording and we will see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for, for doing this with us. Thank you for having us. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.